Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Jemsical and welcome to the Halloween update of Sims Free Play 2017. We have got a new quest. This update came out on the 10th of October and when you go into your game, you'll get this pop-up that says new quest available, Ghost Flustered. We have a time limit of nine days. Halloween is fast approaching and Simtown is all a buzz. But a time of trick or treating could some real spirits throw some spanners in the works. This looks good. I think the last two years we had the candy monsters, which whilst they were absolutely adorable little things, those candy monsters, it was kind of frustrating, I think, last year that we didn't get anything different from the previous year. It was all about the Halloween outfit. So fingers crossed we're going to get something different with this. So let's have a look. Complete this quest to unlock four body paints and sleepwear for infants, toddlers, tweens, teens, adults and seniors. So all of our age ranges. You will need to have access to these age groups before you can access the sleepwear in any wardrobe. So we get, bo wow, we get red and purple, different, oh my goodness, we can have like different coloured sims. This is crazy. And then we also get access to new sleepwear as well. The first thing we need to do is answer the phone. Halloween is fast approaching and all the sims in Simtown are gearing up for the best Halloween ever. There's even a wizard in town. What's this? A phone is ringing. A home lot have a sim answer the phone. This is a work in progress Halloween house that I am building. So let's answer the phone for 48 seconds. That task is complete. Now we need to call sim on a phone. Your sim answers the phone to hear screaming your crazy sim friends and their Halloween pranks. Hang on a minute. The sim sounds genuinely frightened. Your sim is going to have to calm them down to find out what the matter is. Calm the sim on the phone. So click back on the phone and calm sim for 40 minutes. Task complete. Now search a home lot. They calm down enough to tell you that they were approached by an actual ghost at their home lot demanding treats from them. You better do some investigating. Search a home lot for clues. Oh look, there's candy. Other candy monsters going to appear. If you come out here we have some candy, click on that and search for one hour and 40 minutes. Maybe the candy monsters are going to make an appearance. We've finished searching, now we need to go to the park. Searching the home lot, your sim discovers candy. But is there a super, but is there a supernatural connection? Your sim is going to need an expert in paranormal scene investigations. Best speak to that wizard in the park. We're over at the park, I'll whistle my sim over and that's task complete. Now we need to discuss paranormal activity. Your sim arrives at the park. Time to discuss paranormal shenanigans with Wizard Wickham. So here's Wizard Wickham. Let's have a little look at him. Ah, cute. Oh, look, he's got a little pipe. Adorable. Right, discuss paranormal for four hours and ten minutes. We have finished our little chat. Now we need to discuss paranormal scene findings. Wizard Wickham listens carefully and says he will have to inspect the scene for paranormal activity. Discuss findings with Wizard Wickham in a home lot. So we have gone back home and Wizard Wickham just follows us. If we click on him, discuss findings for one hour and 40 minutes. Task complete. Now travel to the wizard's cottage. Wizard Wickham confirms your suspicions. Real ghosts are present in Simtown. If this gets out, it has the potential to scare all the Sims and shut down Halloween. Wizard Wickham has a plan. Via his crystal ball, he has PCTV, Paranormal Circuit TV. With that, your sim can determine who is behind these supernatural shenanigans. Have Wizard Wickham send you to his cottage. How do we do that? Do we click on him? Oh, we, if we click on him, we have the option to go to cottage. Now we need to view ghosts in crystal ball. Well, that was a trip. Arriving at the wizard's cottage, Wizard Wickham told you he has tuned the crystal ball to the ghost's frequency. Use the crystal ball to view the ghosts. Let's click on that and view ghosts two hours and 30 minutes. Task completed. Now we need to discuss stopping ghosts with, with, with Wizard Wickham. With its surprisingly high resolution display, the crystal ball reveals four ghosts angrily discussing Sims impersonating them during Halloween and taking candy that is rightfully theirs. Better return to a home lot and speak to Wizard Wickham about stopping the ghosts. Back over at the home lot, let's click on Wizard Wickham again and stop ghosts 5 hours 50 minutes. And there we go, congratulations, you have earned red body paint. Make your friends red with envy. 
tap the body paint tab in a wardrobe in a home lot and select the red body paint colour. Now we want to apply the red body paint from a wardrobe. Wizard Wickham muses for a moment. If you impersonate a ghost and go trick or treating, that will surely draw them out. The body paint I've added to your wardrobe will do the trick. Let's go to a wardrobe. So here we go, we have this body paint tab now and our red body paint is obviously new, so let's click on it. This is cool, like it's not too crazy red. That's pretty cool, I love it. And that's task complete, apply red body paint from a wardrobe. Now, trick or treat with five sims. Well, that's an interesting shade of red. Time to go trick or treating to draw out a ghost. Trick or treat with five other sims. Down below, we are now working towards getting yellow body paint. So to trick or treat, you need to click on another sim and that's four hours and 10 minutes. We've whistled a couple more sims over and trick or treat. This action requires a sim with red, oh, okay. So we need to change them to have red body paint. At least one of them has to have red body paint so you can do trick or treat in. So we need five sims doing the trick or treat. So that means five sets of pairs. So altogether you'll have 10 sims doing the trick or treat. And once they are finished, that is task complete. Now we need to talk to Golio the ghost. Your sim is really in the swing of trick or treating when suddenly a ghostly ghost appears. That's my candy. I've got to have that candy, says Golio. Hang on, this ghost sounds more desperate than dangerous. Talk to the ghost. The ghost just appears outside. Go and click on him and talk to him for 10 hours and 50 minutes. Oh, whoa, look at him. He looks pretty scary. We've finished talking to him. Now we need to plant corn. I wish I didn't need candy so badly, but I do, says Golio. Every mouthful is a sweet sting of happiness. Hmm, seems like this ghost has a sweet tooth issue and your sim has got just the solution. Grow and harvest some corn in a garden patch. Garden patches can be found in the outdoor section of the home store. You click on the garden patch and grow corn for 20 minutes. All finished, we'll go ahead and click it. And that's task complete. Now we need to give the corn to Golio. Your sim grows some sweet, sweet corn. Better give it to the desperate Golio. So click on Golio and give him the corn for four hours, 10 minutes. Now we need to grow watermelon. Hmm, says Golio, that's not bad, but it left me wanting more. Time to bring out the big guns. Grow a watermelon in a garden patch. Back to the garden patch then and click on it and grow a watermelon for one hour. Once it is done, go ahead and click on the watermelon. Task complete. Now, of course, we need to give the watermelon to him. And give watermelon for nine hours and ten minutes. We've given him the watermelon. Now we need to ask him for some help. That watermelon is incredible, says Golio. The sweetness, so sublime. And that subtle crunch gives it textual nuance. I will never need candy again. How can I ever repay you? Your sim needs to find those other rogue ghosts. Ask Dolio for help. So let's click on him and ask him for help is four hours, 10 minutes. And then when we finish that, that's congratulations. We have earned the yellow body paint to become a ray of sunshine, literally. So now we have got the yellow one. We are working towards the blue body paint. Apply yellow body paint. Your sim explains to Golio that they need to find the other three ghosts. No problem, says Golio. Hack a lantern, hack is yellow. I can give you some matching body paint. So once we're in a wardrobe, go ahead and click on the yellow paint. It's so cool. The next thing is to trick or treat with five sims. Your sim applies the yellow body paint. If their current career path doesn't work out, they could always pursue a career as a trophy. Anyway, Time to draw out hack. Trick or treat with five other sims. So again, I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do is change five sims to have yellow body paint. And then trick or treat, this time it's six hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, so there you go, it's not possible to do it unless you have a sim with yellow body paint on. Once you have five sims with the yellow body paint on, you can just do the trick or treating for six hours and 40 minutes with 10 sims all together. And there we go, we have finished trick or treating with five sims. Now we need to give Hack scaring advice. Boo! A ghostly jack-o'-lantern appears. Scared you, didn't I? 
Okay then, how about boo? Why is this so hard? Okay, it's time for us him to give Hack a few home truths about scaring. Let's click on him and scaring advice for 12 hours, 30 minutes. Now we need to go to the park. Your sim tells Hack that the art of frightening has moved on from simple jump scares. Do you have any ideas? Asks Hack. Your sim has a plan. They ask Hack to meet them at the statue in the park. So let's go over to the park. Once you're over at the park, just whistle a sim over and that's task complete. Now we need to talk scares. Your sim arrives at the park. Time to find Hack and talk scares. Let's see, where is he? He should be over by the statue, surely? Yeah, here he is. Click on him and talk scares for 50 minutes. Now we need to approach the statue. Hack is waiting for your sim when they arrive. So what's your plan? Hack asks eagerly. Your sim tells Hack to possess the statue and when a sim approaches, do something super shocking. Ah, I get it now. I have to find my inner poltergeist artiste, says Hack. Have three separate sims approach the statue. So click on the statue and approach for 50 minutes. And we will need to bring over a couple more sims. Whoa! Look at the statue. Did you see him? That's awesome. Whoa. Okay, so we can't actually have another sim doing it at the same time, so we have to wait for this one to finish, and then do it again with another sim for another 50 minutes, and then again with another sim for 50 minutes, and that's task complete on that, so you have that will take like three hours overall. Now we need to ask Hack for help. That was incredible, says Hack. In an undead sense, I've never felt so alive. I finally realised my full potential in the undead Oh, I have no idea how you say that word. That word. <laughs> how can I ever repay you? Oh, your sim knows a way Hack can help. Have your sim ask Hack for help locating another ghost. So let's click on Hack and ask for help. Two hours, 30 minutes. And congratulations, we have earned the blue body paint. Blue becomes you. So now we are working towards the green body paint. And we need to select blue body paint from a wardrobe. Your sim explains that they need to find the other two ghosts. No problem, I'm tight with Wart's Cauldron. I can give you some body paint that matches her colour. She's blue, and I mean moody blue. So back at home, go into a wardrobe and put on the blue body paint. So cool. And that's task complete. Now we need to trick or treat with five sims again. So we need to put blue paint on at least five sims and have them trick or treat with each other. So let's see how long this takes. This takes four hours and 10 minutes with 10 sims all together. We have finished trick or treating with our five sims. Now we need to talk hopes and dreams. A witchy warts cauldron appears. She sighs. Look, Cap says you're taking my candy and that I need to scare the wits out of you. But honestly, I'm over being frightful. This is odd for a ghost, your sim thinks. Have your sim get to the bottom of Wart's emotional crisis. Talk to Wart about her hopes and dreams. So let's click on her and talk hopes and dreams for 7 hours and 30 minutes. We've finished talking, now we need to apply body paint. Your sim gently questions Wart. Look, I'm wanting to get out of this ghoulish game, she says. I really need a change, can you help? Your sim has a grand idea. Have your sim apply body paint to Wart's. So let's click on what and apply body paint for 5 hours and 50 minutes. We have applied the body paint, I think we've turned her orange. What is transformed from blase blue, yeah, to outrageous orange. I love it, squeals Wart. How can I ever repay you? Have your sim ask Wart for help locating the last ghost. So let's click on Wart and ask for help for 50 minutes. And congratulations, we have earned the green body paint. It's not easy being green. Now we need to select the green body paint from a wardrobe. Your sim explains to Wart that they need to find the last ghost. Well, that would be Capsworth, says Wart. I can give some body paint that matches his colour. Tap the body paint tab in the wardrobe and select green body paint. So into a wardrobe, click on the body paint and we have got the green. Wow, I like that. We can make the Hulk. Now we need to find the last ghost. Your sim applies the green body paint. It's a shade to turn anybody envious. Better talk to Wart about finding the last ghost. So we'll click on Wart and find last ghost. Two hours, 30 minutes. 
that is now complete. I think now we're working towards the different sleepwear. Now we need to trick or treat with five sims. You'll be looking for Capsworth, says Wart. He's kind of a dopey looking bat with a big old tongue. Boy, did he miss the boat when the scary looks were being handed out. He's one angry dude about it, so watch out. Time to go trick or treating to draw out Capsworth. Trick or treat with five other sims on a house lot. So again, for this, you need 10 sims and you need at least five of them to have the green body paint on. And you can trick or treat for nine hours and 10 minutes. And you need to do that five times with five pairs of sims. The sims have finished their trick or treating. Now we need to reason with Capsworth. A kind of dopey looking bat thing with a big tongue appears. Capsworth is one mad ghost. Your claim on that candy is illegitimate. Only us real poltergeists deserve that candy, not you pretenders. Have your sim try and reason with Capsworth. So let's click on Capsworth and reason with him for 5 hours and 50 minutes. Now we need to pursue Capsworth to the park. Your sim tries to talk reasonably, telling Capsworth that not every ghost needs to be scariest. What are you talking about? interrupts Capsworth. I'm the scariest, and all this trick-or-treating you've been doing is taking what's rightfully ours. I'm going to the park to tell the others about your little brainwashing game. Have your sim pursue Capsworth to the park. So over at the park, we'll whistle over a sim, and now we need to interrupt Capsworth. Breathless, your sim arrives at the park. Capsworth is speaking intently to the ghosts. They say they want to help, but really it's all an excuse to keep the candy. Uh-oh, you have to stop Capsworth lies. Have your sim interrupt Capsworth. So where, oh, look, here he is. Wow, look at them, they're all over here. Let's go and interrupt him for 50 minutes. Now we need to study at Candy Stash. See, see, look at that Candy Stash, shrieks Capsworth. Let's take all that candy that only we deserve. I want all the candy, says Golio. Let's do it. Let's take their candy. I've got the scaring skills. I'm ready, says Hat. Could everything be falling apart? Hang on. Have your sim look at the candy stash. So the candy stash is just there and we need to study it for four hours, ten minutes. Now we need to reveal the truth. Your sim approaches the candy canes. Candy canes, candy canes, of course. Your sim knew there was something not quite right. Candy canes are not a Halloween treat, they're a Christmas treat. I didn't even clock that when I came over here, of course. Capsworth is trying to have your sim look like the bad guy. Have your sim reveal the truth to the group of ghosts. So click on the exclamation mark, reveal truth is 10 hours and 50 minutes. We've revealed the truth, now we need to go back to the wizard and speak to him. Your sim reveals the truth to the ghosts. Who cares, says Caps. We can have it all. We're the scary ones. With Wizard Wickham's surveillance equipment, I can find and take all the candy before Halloween even starts. This situation is getting out of hand. You're going to need backup. Speak to Wizard Wickham in the park. So Wizard Wickham has appeared over at the park. So let's go click on him. Request backup. Two hours and 30 minutes. Now we need to go to the cottage, so your sim tells Wizard Wickham's what's going down. Quick, to the cottage, says Wizard Wickham. Have Wizard Wickham take you to the wizard's cottage, so click on him and go to cottage. Here we are back over at the cottage, listen to ghosts. Your sim and Wizard Wickham arrive at the wizard's cottage to find Golio, Hack and Wart confronting Capsworth. What is going on? Listen in to what the ghosts are saying. Where are they? Over here in the house. Let's click on them and listen for 15 hours and 50 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. We've finished listening to them. Now we need to thank them. You can't do this, Caps, says Golio. These sims have helped us. Yeah, says Hack. They've taught us so much. No, yeah, you gullible ghosts, shrieks Capsworth and disappears in a puff of defeated smoke. It seems your good work with the ghosts has had some unexpected benefits. Have your sim thank the ghosts for saving Halloween. Click on the ghosts and thank them for 4 hours and 10 minutes. We need to hug Gulio. Your sim approaches the ghosts. No, thank you for helping us all find our inner ghastly potential, says Gulio. 
to show our gratitude, we want to give you some items to make your Halloween even more memorable. Is that a tear in Gulio's eye? Give him a hug. Aww. Give him a hug for one day and one hour. Wow. The longest hug in the history of time has been completed. Now we need to leave the wizard's cottage. Well, that hug was interesting. Time to go. Your sim says farewell to the ghosts. Leave the wizard's cottage. So if you just go into your sim tracker and tell your sim to go home. And that's task complete. And that is quest complete as well. Congratulations. Not only has your sim saved Halloween, but their good work has earned them four body paints and sleepwear for infants, toddlers, tweens, teens, adults and seniors. You will need to have access to these age groups before you can access the sleepwear in any wardrobe. So let's check out all the prizes. In the body paint section, we not only have the four shades that we won, we also have another four shades of body paint. I love these. <laughs> Look at that, grey baby. For the Halloween sleepwear, we have got these two adorable little outfits. The male infant, of course, has the same coloured skins as they all will have the same coloured skins. And the outfits are the same as well. The female toddler in the sleepwear section has this adorable little pumpkin onesie. The male toddler has this kind of Frankenstein little onesie that is adorable. I absolutely love that. The female preteen has three different items in the sleepwear. They have a top. Oh my goodness, that is so cute! A little witch top there and pyjama bottoms and some slippers too. The male preteen also has three items. The pyjama top, the pyjama bottoms and the slippers. Amazing. The female teen has three items. Again, we have the top, the bottoms and the slippers. The male teen just has two items. It has this onesie and it has some socks. The adult female, three items, a pumpkin top and ghostly pyjama bottoms and then some orange slippers. Kind of matches her skin tone, right? The male adult has, oh look at those, he's dressed up as a mummy. The female senior has these spider pyjamas and slippers. And finally the male senior has, what are these, bats? Yeah, I think that's Bats, isn't it, on his pyjamas. So there we go. That completes this quest and a look at all of the prizes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. How are you getting on with it? Did you manage to complete everything? Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.